the number one hole in all of San Diego. Did I literally just put it in the water? <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, that was bad. Keep your arms in by your side. Winner. <laughs> Welcome to 18 Holes. I'm PGA Golf Professional Jimmy Ham. And I'm LPGA Tour player Natalie Gobas. Today we are in Warren, Ohio at beautiful Avalon Lakes. Avalon Lakes is one of the premier golf courses in the state of Ohio designed by legendary golf course architect Pete Dye. Avalon Lakes has a lot to offer for a multitude of golfers. Undulating greens, beautiful terrain, and of course a lot of lakes. Lots of lakes out here, but I think we're going to stay out of those today. Let's go Do hit it. Kicking off our day at Avalon Golf and Country Club, we're here on hole number one. It's tough starting hole, dog leg left, par four. Perfect drive is down the right side. Avoid the bunkers in the water, though. You'll have a mid iron into this treacherous green. Really tough hole to start your round. Be happy that I'm on the back tees here. Down a little. Ooh, Ooh. right in the water. Splash. <laughs> That's a way to start the day. Good way to start Splash. the round. Huh? Well, your driver is getting tested early here at Avalon Lakes. Another tough driving hole. As you can see, water down the left side. And if you miss the fairway, trees on the right. So you really got to stripe your driver up the right center. And from there, you have a mid iron to a very approachable green. I was afraid of that bunker. Hole number three is your first par five of the day. And for you longer hitters, it's a little bit easier. You can carry the bunker on the left. For the shorter hitters, the fairway is really tight, but the big danger is the pot bunker in the middle of the fairway for your second shot when you lay it up. Look out, trees. Look out, people. First par three of the day, hole number four is a long par three, but what actually makes this hole the most difficult? Well, you can see it. There is very little room for air. You have to hit it up that left side and have to hit a lower shot to avoid those trees, and good luck. Try to get it on the green. Well, I avoided the trees. Let's see how Jimmy does. Oh. Avoided the trees. That's about the only thing I avoided. All right, we stand here on hole number five. It's a par four and not really long, just over 300 yards. Long hitters can get this right up by the green, if not on. Shorter hitters need to lay it up out to the fairway on the right. Be careful of the pot bunker in the middle of the fairway. This is a really deep green. This gentle bending par five looks like a hallway off the tee, but there's actually a lot more room than what you can see. It's an optical illusion. So just hit your drive up the right side. You have a lot of room for your second shot, very generous. And then third shot, go ahead and knock it close and make a birdie. Hole seven is a very basic par four with a wide open fairway to the right and just a lone fairway bunker down the left side. The tough part about this hole is the green. There's a little bit of a false front and it's very undulating. Two putts, not too bad on number seven. Solid. Good putt. All right, this golf course gets real right here. Par three, it don't get any harder than this. 124 up to 250. <laughs> that is a beast of a hole. We're at 220 right here. So, I mean, the water and the way that it works into this golf course, I'd love it because it, it provides a lot of challenge, but it's pretty too. It has. All right, I'm not, I don't see water though. No water, no water. All right, Nat, dead aim here, huh? Goodness, no. Fail <laughs> out to the center of the green with three wood. Turn. Keep turning. Maybe right. catch a little green. Yeah, you did. All right, you're on. Ooh, I'm, I'm safe. It is so safe. Thin, up out of it, chicken. Big talk, less game. Wow. I mean, I mean you I still can... have 40 yards. Enough. Oh, too soft. That's okay though. I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought that was pretty good when it was in the air. All right. Well, I am actually on the green. Wow. What a good shot. 
That thing's spun, huh? I know, it's nice tight grass. It's crazy like how much you let that wedge lay open oh, right there, because yeah. you gotta use the bounce, right? Yep, if you dig there, it. you're dead, right? I, I love those type tight shots. So this hole keeps going? Yeah, and going, and going. <laughs> I think Bogey's a good score on I this. Just I just want to get, can, get this over. You can with. sneak away with a par, especially to this pin. Oh, that breaks a lot. Man, did I do anything right on this hole? Well, the, hole, the hole is not over for you yet. Can you please just give me this butt? No. <laughs> After a, I want to see you continue to. Well, hopefully I make this. How much longer yes. can I make this hole? It breaks a lot, I'm just going to tell you. This par putt feels like a birdie putt. <laughs> what a pin placement. I told you it breaks a lot. Well, I'd like to see you put it. All right, get in the hole. The hole is over. Let's get out of here. More 18 holes after the break. Let's go. <laughs> 18 holes is brought to you by Australian Dream. Odor free, non greasy. Get relief or a 100% refund. Visit AustralianDream.com. And by Golf Greens by Forever Lawn. Improve your landscape and your short game. Visit GolfGreens.com. And by Flat Cat. The fastest way to lower your golf scores is by improving your putting. Flat Cat putter grips. When you square your face, you sink more putts. Oh, Maybe. please roll out of that miss. Sit. On the back. Yo! Ooh. Maybe. Maybe it's right. Get on back there. Go, go, go! All right, Natalie, hole number 11. If this isn't the most intimidating golf hole for your average golfer right now, water on the right, bunkers on the left, but this is a peat dye design and typical peat dye designs, it doesn't look like there's any room, but there's a lot more room out there. There is a lot more room. And so you really just wanna pick how much of the water you're gonna take off, but you can just see that little drain. You can just take it right over the drain. And like you just said, there's a lot of room up there. I'm gonna give you a Natalie Golvis lesson right now. You ready? Pick your line, focus on your line, and hit it there. That's it. How many it. times have you told me that? That's it. I mean, let's see if you listen to it right now. All right. That a girl. You know how many people would kill for that tee ball right there on this hole? Perfect. I'll take it. We were just saying it. The bunkers come into play more than I think the water. Well, you know, almost 90% of people are going to hit the slice, so they have to actually start it at that bunker. It has to be so hard. Just like you said, forgetting about everything out there and just trying to hit a good golf shot here for normal people. Let's see if I pick the right line. I think so. One thing that I know that helps me on intimidating tee shots is picking a target that's way past the treble. I'm just so happy it's in a fairway right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> Jimmy, what is this? Australian dream? It's like my secret weapon right there. Two things I love. Number one, it's not greasy. Number two, it doesn't but, smell at what all. Is it? You don't even know I have no, it on. No, I don't even, what is it it's, for? It's, it's for pain. Like for that, it's for my back. So I put it on my back. It, no, no, not greasy, no smell, no it's smells amazing. No smell A lot big. of these have just some, some pretty serious smells to them. Love it. Wow, good shot. It's a tough layup even, huh? It is. Another intimidating second shot. You gotta hit three good shots on this par five. Yeah, this is a tough hole. Good swing. Your Solid. feet were above the ball. What did you do there? Because you hit that shot so good. So for me, your center can't move. You know that. You're, you can't go back or forward. So you have to focus on it. If you don't focus on it, it's going to happen, right? I mean, that, was, that was an excellent shot. I'm going to make eagle. I'm going to make eagle. <laughs> Get up a little. What an awful shot that was. I think I'm going to be further from you and your eagle attempt. Oh my God! 
gosh. Oh, oh good putt. God. Good stroke, good speed, good par. Thank you. That would be you're, just like- You're one up. So do you remember on our first show, first putt I ever saw you hit, it was like a 70 footer, you drain it. All right, let's go finish the back nine. More to come on 18 holes. This portion of 18 holes is brought to you by Stitch Golf, dress your game, and by teeoff.com by PGA Tour. Book like a pro at teeoff.com or on the new mobile app featuring a half of a million tee times. Deals you won't find anywhere else and no booking fees. Welcome back to 18 Holes. We're here at Avalon Golf and Country Club in Warren, Ohio. Hole number 12 is a difficult par three because of the length. Right here on this tee, it's 174 yards, but it can get back to almost 200 yards. But the trick with this green is you just want to hit it to the middle of the green. Don't go with the pin if it's in the front or like today, what's in that back right. Just hit it in the center of the green, get your par and get out of here. Glasses fall off, you still hit it right at the flag. <laughs> All about balance. I need, I need your sunny skin. Hole number 13 starts out with a very difficult tee ball. You've got to squeeze it in between the mounds on the left and the bunker on the right, but we're not even halfway there yet. The approach shot is over water to a well-bunkered green. That green is very undulating, so getting the shot on in two doesn't even guarantee a Stay ball. Line. Be enough club. Hole number 14, yet another deceiving tee shot. Thanks, Mr. Die. Trouble on the right, huge dog leg, but you have a lot of room on the left-hand side, so just take your drive up the left side and then pay attention throughout the hole because it's pretty narrow all the way to the green. Hole 15 is a par four with a lot of area to hit your tee ball, just avoid the water on the left. The tricky thing on this hole is the bunkers that guard this green. They are really difficult. If you get into one, tough to make par. Hole number 16, you can definitely make birdie on this par three. The green slopes front to back and you gotta stay away from those pop bunkers because they have big lips, but it's a short par three, so you can go ahead and just take a good club and hit right at it. Turn a little. Good shot. Oh, right over. All right, 17. You know, the cool thing about this hole is if you hit it straight, Nat, you can see the flag, but then you gotta kinda keep it closer to the water. So left is safer over there, but then you have a blind shot. Yeah, this is the most challenging hole here. This and is a tough hole right here. So it'd be a good hole for us to have a match on. You go, uh, you, why? You, I'm playing good today. Why do you wanna like just blow it for me? Because it's, now we can put a little pressure on it and see if your game holds up. Do it. So what are we gonna play for? Uh, I'll tell you what, if you beat me, I'll give you a lesson today afterwards, spend some time with you on your game. I beat you, you got a caddy for me. You're gonna be in Cleveland for like three or four days. You're kind of an Ohioan right now. I mean, I'm playing in a tournament in a couple weeks would be great is if you just came out and practiced with me. We'd right. go to Stonewater to your course yeah. and just like Work on be a equipment. second set of eyes. I'll be your eyes, awesome. I'll just watch alignment and all that stuff. And if I lose, I have to caddy for you for nine holes Carry in your money game with your friends. Let's do it. Great. Put the bag on Gosh, your shoulders. Let's this, do it. Uh, I could really use the help in practice, but I feel like you're going to try a little harder because no bad. you could I'm bring out all your friends and heckle oh, me for nine oh, holes. Oh my gosh. I will put every golf ball I own in that I'll golf I'll be bag. your, I'm not going to carry it. <laughs> I'll be your beer cart girl though. <laughs> Turn. Look at that. I'm already nervous. I just hit it in the water. It's okay, I can still beat you hitting from three from there. Oh, he striped it. Gosh, see, I oh. knew. I knew you were gonna try harder. Do you wanna start caddying right now? No, I mean, I'm just not gonna like carry your bag, but I'll drive your car, tell you how oh, good you are at golf. it all changes. Yeah, can you tell me that a little more? How, how great your friends are. <laughs> Okay, this is third shot here, just in case you forgot. I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> oh, I have a chance at par. Oh, good shot. I couldn't see it from over here. Thank you. 
You got a little uh, fade lie. The water should really come into play when your feet are above the ball. All the years we've done the show, have I ever beaten a bet? You know, that's in my mind. It probably shouldn't be, right? I don't, I don't think so. Ooh, good shot. Get up a little, though. What's your philosophy on taking divots and not taking divots? I think for tour pros, I think you can go either way. I think for um, average Joe golfer, they need to because they don't compress the ball. They don't. You know, so many players kick it and lift it instead of compress it. So if I'm giving lessons, I try to have them take the divot after the ball. But for a player with like your talent or the people that you play with on a tour, you know, they can compress the ball without hitting down. Yeah. Through. How about paying attention to your divot after? Is it something that Huge. you? that you look at, you go back there. Like, I know I like, if I missed a shot, I go back and I look at the divot and I see if it's going left and I'm like, gosh, I must have come this way or had it aimed a little bit left. That's kind of like the little guy on your shoulder for me when I give lessons. Like I tell people, listen, I'm gonna be gone in an hour, okay? But this divot will tell you everything about what you're doing right or wrong right now. It is, it's the guy, it's your lesson, it's your teacher when you're not there. Have to have to use it. I think. And there's more things too. It's not just the left and right, but it's also you know the way Steepness. that yeah. If yeah. it's like the way it's descending, yep. or you know if it's coming in this way, and absolutely. I, I again, you're right. Left and right will tell you your path, but if it's too steep, it'll get deeper as it goes. There's so much a divot can tell you. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Birdie putt, par putt. You could shut me up by making this right here. I love those words. Let's make it happen. Oh my gosh! Uh, didn't even give me a chance to redeem myself. I'll give you that. Here, I'll even go pick it up for you. Uh, would have been so much more exciting if we could have had with a water shot. You're gonna be the best caddy I've gosh. ever had in my entire life. I know. Sorry, I have only beat you one time in like two years. Like legit. Gosh, who knew that that was the thing that was really gonna make you step up your game too. What are you gonna do? Winner. All right, we're gonna go finish our round, which I'm winning, and head to the 19th hole. I almost fell up the hill right there. This segment of 18 holes is brought to you by Labatt Blue. Play it from the blues. Welcome to the 19th hole on one of the many, many patios here at Avalon Lakes Golf and Country Club. Uh, first of all, we finished on number 18, another great hole here. Matches the golf course, you know, a little dog leg left. I missed the green little right there, but just an, another good hole because they were all good today. Huh? They were, and I really like the variety of holes, some holes that you can make birdie on and a lot of holes that really challenge you. I know what you're gonna pick, but what was your num your favorite hole today? Was it number eight? Number three? eight. I knew you were gonna I, that. I love hitting shots that I don't get to see that often. And I even know, you know, we both made bogey there. Yeah. I, 250 yard par three, it just, so much trouble and yeah I like to have that memorable hole and there's that one par three I'm forgetting the whole number where you have to hit through that chute yeah yeah where there's just trouble yeah. everywhere yeah, that and was on the front nine. it keeps you on your toes yeah, yeah. like start to finish uh you really like Squaw Creek when you played here right? I did I really really like Squaw Creek uh, LPGA was there for seven years yeah. and one of the things that I loved about it was the, the fans yeah. I mean this is a big golf town and it just makes sense that there's a golf destination resort right here because this there's a lot of people in this area that play golf and we were talking about location wise how close it is to both Pittsburgh and Cleveland and just being right in the middle it gives you a lot of a lot of people that can just come in and play a variety of golf courses. They're always improving like we saw here but there's always things adding they're doing new things every time I talk to somebody here uh, it's like, wow, they did this, they did that. I mean, they have all kind of construction going on they right They have there. a Roman bath. Which I've with never a been in a Roman bath before. Patio, well, I live in Vegas, so <laughs> they have things that are similar to that. Yeah. And that's going in, but there's an Olympic-sized pool. Yeah. There's a massive fitness center. Yep. And a spa, great restaurants. Yeah. There's a couple of really good restaurants. And there's so many other cool things. Like, there's even a golf simulator in underneath the clubhouse in case it's raining and there's pool tables and ping pong tables and just a whole bunch of stuff to do here. Yeah, that little area is really cool where they did all the simulators and stuff is cool, but like, I guess over at Squaw Creek, that pool is amazing. You know, it's got a, the bar there and they're gonna put a bar restaurant here too. That's part of the construction. So again, it's just, it keeps getting better and better. They just keep adding things and it's not just golf, you know, it's yeah. kind of around golf, but it's it not is, It's a golf. good place to bring a family. Yeah. 
bring friends. There's yeah. a lot of stuff to do. There is a lot of stuff to do. And then the end, you know, I always get a, a text from Natalie <laughs> when she first gets somewhere, and I know whether her room's really good or whether it's not so good. <laughs> we got here, and she's like, wow, that's what she texted me. It, well, it's all completely redone. Yeah. So when you pull up, it's got this, I don't know, what kind of colonial feel, and then yeah. you go in, and everything is completely redesigned, yeah. like beautiful marble and had a full kitchen, and it was just really, really nice. Yeah, yeah, this is a great place. So, man, if you're looking for somewhere to take a little golf vacation, Little destination. This is, I know it's hard to believe, Youngstown, Ohio. You know, I grew up right down the road in Steubenville. Uh, it's, it's just fabulous. So, I, but, uh, I don't know if you watched the entry video, but they talk about the bed yeah. here and they say they're talking about how great the bed is. And they say, if you really like the bed, you can buy it. So, yeah. when I heard that yesterday when I got in, I thought, oh, it's going to be a really good bed because <laughs> they're going to be trying to sell a lot of these. But that makes a big difference, sure you know? Having a TV, having direct TV, yeah. those little details that yeah. you know you can stay there for a couple days and you can catch all the sporting events you want to and be able to have like a comfort and really cool. think that that really helps. Really cool, really cool. All right, well, this is our last show of the year. I know. So of course, we got, we're ending in Ohio. Yeah, we're ending in Ohio, <laughs> not on the West Coast where we started with you, but it's been a great year. It thanks has. for everything. Uh, thanks to all of our sponsors. We have so many great sponsors that not only support us, but come out with us when we shoot shows and, you know, become part of, of what we do. And then we can't end it without thanking uh, the crew too. I mean, the crew's Absolutely. great. We, we've, you know, you've got to know them really well over the last few years. They've become friends of yours as they've been mine for a while. And so thank you so much to all of them because they do a great job and our show wouldn't be very good without them. Oh, they're amazing. And uh, I can't wait to come back next year. Absolutely. You'll have me. <laughs> for sure. And thanks to all of you for watching us today on another episode of 18 Holes. You give us an update. something? Yeah, sure. Where do you get one of these? To get the number one golf swing rhythm trainer, go to orangewhipgolf.com. You gotta feel it. Top 100 golf is hard to find, but unbelievably, the nine stars of golf package offers two golf courses that have been listed on Golf Digest Top 100 public list. The Virtues Golf Club and Eagle Sticks Golf Club have combined to offer you a stay and play package that's unparalleled in Ohio. Both courses are currently featured on Golf Week's top 10 courses you can play in Ohio. Visit 9starsofgolf.com to have our professional travel staff book your getaway.